You have a really large open space with tall, high ceilings, and it's very raw and industrial. Um, so I wanted to create kind of like a, a nebulous or an organic form where you walk in and you, you feel like you're somewhat in another land, right? So hence the name Wonderland. Um, and also there are subtle kind of references to Alice in Wonderland from, you know, Lewis Carroll, who I grew up, you know, everyone's always like, oh, Alice in Wonderland, Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. So, so definitely bringing some of those experiences into it um, or references, I should say, right? But then also thinking about the space and, and where it is and how it lives and what it feels like. So oftentimes when I do site-specific work, I really try to focus on the place, the time, and the feeling that I have when I'm in that space. Of course, my ideas come into that, but, um, but I really try to come from an intuitive place and in the moment create what I need to. Uh, the treatment of the space, um, when I first walked in, you know, well, like I said, Pat, Lazo, Pat sent me the photos of the place, and uh, I kind of got an idea that it, that, that it was very square and very geometric, but full of angular lines, like the pipes and the triangles. And, and so I wanted to create a space where you walk in, where you almost feel like you're in a jungle, where you're really in an organic space. So it was a challenge to kind of, um, you know, think of a space that's square, but make it round. Right? So making it something that's inorganic, very organic, you know? So hence the trees and the dripping of the green. And, and, and so, you know, the idea is to take something and to transform it to maybe visualize what you could do with it, kind of like an imaginary world, right? And we do that all the time as artists, right? We create from nothing to something. Sure. And we all do that, whether an artist or not. We all do that with our lives, right? So. I always am challenged and interested in going into spaces and recreating that feeling from hard to soft. And it's actually a reoccurring theme that happens in my work because growing up, my dad was very hard and my mom was very soft. So oftentimes I'll work with metal, but then I'll, walk, I'll work with lace. Mm -hmm. So I, I try to mix the two and, and that's, you could see that a lot in my collage work as well.